Mixing can be a very tedious and time consuming process. Anybody that mixes their own songs, they know there's a lot of detail oriented work and the stuff can really, really add up. So the question is, how do you reduce the amount of time you spend mixing? In today's video, I'm gonna help you answer that and I'm gonna specifically address how can you mix faster? Are you ready? Let's go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Five Piece Producer and Engineer Extraordinaire. Thank you for checking out today's video. And if you haven't already, please hit the bell and subscribe button below to stay tuned for more helpful videos. I drop something new every single week, usually focused on recording, mixing, and mastering, but also talking about other stuff, business stuff, career advice, and how to make money with your music. If that sounds like something you wanna learn more about, definitely subscribe so I can help you with these topics. But in today's video, we're specifically talking talking about how can you mix faster? I wanna overview a few things that you could do to speed up your workflow, and let's start with the first one. Use templates. I'm probably gonna catch a little bit of hate on this, but using templates is a real easy way to just speed up your workflow. And I like using templates because it saves you a lot of upfront time. You're not gonna have to create tracks. You're not gonna have to route buses. You're not gonna have to color code things. You're not gonna have to set up vocal chains and effects. You're gonna have them all laid out and ready for you to just import your new audio and start tweaking. And that's the most important part. I don't recommend you just import audio and leave it. You definitely wanna go in and tweak stuff, adjust settings, adjust plugins, and tailor it to that specific song. But ultimately using this template is gonna save you a lot of that upfront work and help you mix faster. Learn the keyboard shortcuts. Every DAW has a set of keyboard shortcuts or quick keys or hot keys, whatever you wanna call them. That's gonna help you speed up the workflow and these quick keys usually get a task done much faster than if you were to manually do it. I remember when I first was learning how to use Pro Tools, I didn't really know how to use it and I would manually click things and go into the file menus and do all this stuff. And this stuff ate up a lot of time and decision-making power as I was trying to decipher how to use the DAW. But over time, I figured out how to do stuff a lot faster by using these quick keys to the point where I'll be in a session with an artist and they'll be amazed at how fast I got something done, especially compared to other engineers. So I definitely recommend that you learn the quick keys to speed up your workflow today. Automate processes. It's really important to automate your processes to just simplify your workflow and not have to do everything manually. And this is why I talk about using templates, for example, instead of having to click around and find the plugin that you want, you can already have a vocal chain set up in your template. That's one really great example of automating your processes. Another example is, for, you know, with myself and I'm mixing for other artists, they'll be sending me their audio files. And previously I would have to figure out if I wanted to keep that file in stereo or mono because because a lot of times people are sending me everything in stereo, but drum sounds and other things need to be converted into mono. And I don't have to physically make this choice on my own. I have to listen and evaluate and then, you know, do the actual work of changing it into a mono sound source. Now, what I did instead was I found out about this tool called Stereo Monoizer, and it saves me all of that work. I'm able to just drag my audio files into that, hit a button, it goes through them. It decides if it should be stereo or mono based on the file type, the source and all that. And then it converts it for me. So all I have to do is import it into Pro Tools and get to work. This is super, super important. It's super easy to do. You just gotta think about how can you automate things or just reduce the amount of work you're doing when you're mixing. Save and use plugin presets. Whenever you're mixing a song, if you find that you're doing the same thing over and over again with your plugins, it probably makes sense to just save whatever you're doing as a preset so you can use it again and again in the future. So for example, when I'm working with an EQ on vocals, I actually have a specific vocal preset that I use that I've created because I find that I'm always removing the low end, taking out a little bit of the low mid, adding a little bit of high end, stuff like that. And just like the templates, you're not just gonna slap this on and leave it. You might be able to do that, but the truth is this is just a starting point for you to use and tweak later. But having it you know, set up in advance is gonna save you a lot of time and help you mix faster, for sure. And the final tip, is to practice. Yes, this is probably gonna be the most disappointing of the suggestions here, but it really is the truth. The more you mix, 
the better you're gonna mix and the faster you're gonna mix as well. You can only get better and faster by doing it over and over again and repeating the processes and finding ways to make your workflow more efficient. If you do that and you combine that with the other strategies I've outlined in this video, you're gonna be in a great place and I guarantee you're gonna reduce the time spent mixing from you know 10 hours, eight hours, six hours and just continue downward. When I was first mixing, I started off by mixing, you know, eight to 10 hours on average, I would say. Now I'm able to get a mix done, sometimes in an hour, sometimes in two, but definitely way less than when I first started in this career. So that's it. Those are my five tips for you guys. Hope you got value out of this video. And if you did, please smash the like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'm looking forward to helping you guys again soon. Let me know if you want to see anything, by the way, in the comments below. Peace. Five.